Golgi Complex 1. Structure and Functions of the Golgi Complex The Golgi Complex, also named Golgi Bodies or Golgi Apparatus or Dictyosomes in plant cells, occurs in all cells with a few exceptions. The main function of the Golgi body is secretory. The synthetic conducts of the cell, that is proteins, hormones and enzymes, are collected by the Golgi vacuoles and secreted into the cytoplasm. Components of the Golgi complex Each Golgi complex consists of the following. 1. Tubules, which are flattened plate-like network found near the nucleus. 2. Vesicles, which are small droplet-like sacs. These remain attached to the tubule at the distal end near the plasma membrane. 3. Golgian vacuoles, which are large, spacious, spherical structures. Lysosomes, the digestive centers. Lysosomes are a kind of waste disposal system of the cell. For example, the foreign materials entering the cell, such as bacteria or food, well, these lysosomes break them up into small pieces. Lysosomes help to keep the cell clean by digesting any foreign material as well as worn out cell organelles. Also, when the cell gets damaged, lysosomes may burst and the enzymes digest their own cell. Therefore, lysosomes are also known as the suicide bags of a cell. Functions of lysosomes The chief function of the enzymes secreted by lysosomes is intercellular digestion. The lysosomes digest stored food contents like proteins, fats and glycogen of the cytoplasm and supply the necessary amount of energy to the cell. Lysosomes also digest and remove worn out cells. Cells of leukocytes, that is WBC, digest foreign proteins, bacteria and viruses. Hence, lysosomes control the breakdown of part of a cell or of foreign particles. Significance of lysosomes 1. In metamorphosis of amphibians and tunicates During the transformation of a tadpole into a frog, the embryonic tissues like gills and tail are digested by the lysosome and utilized by other cells. 2. In fertilization, the lysosomal enzymes of the sperm cells digest the limiting membrane of the ovum, that is egg. Thus, the sperm is able to enter the ovum and affect fertilization. Endoplasmic reticulum Structure of the endoplasmic reticulum the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, is a large network of membrane-bound tubes. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, or RER, and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, or SER. Rough endoplasmic reticulum looks rough because it has particles called ribosomes attached to its surface. 
Now the ribosomes which are present in all active cells are the sites of protein manufacture. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in the manufacture of fat molecules or lipids which are important for cell function. Thus, one function of the endoplasmic reticulum is to serve as a channel for the transport of RER material between various regions of the cytoplasm or between the cytoplasm and the nucleus. The endoplasmic reticulum also functions as a cytoplasm framework providing a surface for some of the biochemical activities of the cell. In the liver cells of the group of animals called vertebrates, SER plays a crucial role in detoxifying many poisons and drugs for some of the biochemical activities of the cell. Functions of the endoplasmic reticulum On one end, the endoplasmic reticulum is connected to the outer membrane of the nucleus and on the other to the plasma membrane. First, it forms the supporting skeletal framework of the cell. Second, it provides a pathway for the distribution of nuclear material from one cell to the other. Ribosomes Structure of Ribosomes Ribosomes are dense, spherical and granular particles which occur freely in the matrix or remain attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. Chemically, the major constituents of ribosomes are the ribonucleic acid, RNA, and proteins. Fats are practically absent. These are factories for the synthesis of proteins. Mitochondria Structure of mitochondria The mitochondria are tiny bodies of varying shapes. Cylindrical, rod-shaped, spherical, and size 0.2 micrometer to 2 micrometer and are distributed in the cytoplasm. Each is bounded by a double membrane envelope. The inner membrane, Christi, is thrown into folds. Functions of Mitochondria Mitochondria are known as the powerhouses of the cell. The energy required for various chemical activities is released by mitochondria in the form of ATP, that is, adenosine triphosphate molecules. ATP is known as the energy currency of the cell. The body uses energy stored in ATP for making new chemical compounds and for mechanical work. Mitochondria have two membrane coverings instead of just one. The outer membrane is very porous while the inner membrane is deeply folded. These folds create a large surface area for ATP generating chemical reactions. Mitochondria have their own DNA and ribosomes. Therefore, mitochondria are able to make some of their own proteins. Peroxisomes Found mostly in the kidney and the liver cells, Peroxisomes are microbodies which contain powerful oxidative enzymes for photorespiration, hydrogen peroxide metabolism, purine, for example, uric acid, adenine, guanine metabolism. 
It thus helps in the removal of toxic substances. Plastids 1. Structure of Plastids Plastids occur in most plant cells and are absent in animal cells. Cells of lower non-flowering plants like bacteria, blue-green algae and fungi contain chromatophores instead of plastids. Plastids are self-replicating, that is, they have the power to divide. They are grouped in two classes, pigmented, chloroplast, and non-pigmented, leucoplast. Types of plastids A. Chloroplast Present in green algae and higher plants, each chloroplast is bounded by a double membrane. The green pigment chlorophyll traps solar energy and utilizes it to manufacture food for the plant. B. Chromoplast The variously pigmented plastids, by imparting color to flowers, attract insects for pollination. C. Leucoplast These are colorless, rod-shaped or spheroid pigments which store food in the form of carbohydrates that is starch, lipids and proteins. They are found in seeds, meristematic cells sex cells, ground tissue of certain roots and stems, centrosomes and centrioles. 1. Macroscopic view and functions. A centrosome is found only in an animal cell. It is a clear area of cytoplasm close to nucleus from which spindle fibers develop during cell division, both in mitosis and meiosis. The centrosome contains two centrioles, which are short bundles of microfilaments arranged at right angles to each other. That is why they always appear in this shape, in the microscopic view of the cell. There are no centrioles in plant cells. Structure and functions of vacuoles Vacuoles are storage sacs for solid or liquid contents. Vacuoles are small sized in animal cells while plant cells have very large vacuoles. Do you know that the central vacuole of some plant cells may occupy 50 to 90 percent of the cell volume. Yes, they do. In plant cells, vacuoles are full of cell sap and provide turgidity and rigidity to the cell. Many substances of importance in the life of the plant cell are stored in vacuoles. Now what are these substances? Well these include amino acids, sugars, various organic acids and some proteins. In single-celled organisms like amoeba, the food vacuole contains the food items that the amoeba has consumed. In some unicellular organisms, specialized vacuoles also play important roles in expelling wastes from the cell. Each cell thus acquires its structure and ability to function because of the organization of its membrane and organelles in specific ways. 
the cell thus has a basic structural organization, does it not? This helps the cell to perform functions like respiration, obtaining nutrition, and clearing of waste material, or also forming new proteins. Thus, the cell is the structural and functional unit of living organisms.